Hello and welcome to a CBK Gaming review video. Today we're taking a look at War of the Nine Realms by Wotan Games. It's a two to four player competitive game where you take on the role of either the Asser, Dark Elves, the Ice Giants or the Norse. It's played across these hexagonal tiles. Uh, which make up the board game and the aim of the game is to kill your opponent's king or fill the blood bowl uh, which i think is 18, 18. Um, so that's achieving 18 wounds across your opponents or spread across your opponents um, characters and infantry so content wise what do you, you think you certainly get a lot there's plenty of tiles to make a whole range of different terrain to have yeah. to fight across um, and part of the game you can use some of your points to change the terrain so you can create a forest water mountains that um, sort of your opponents then have to move around to to get to your players and there's plenty of extra hexagonal pieces um, to place on the board to do so it's yeah, you certainly get a lot for for what the game is, I think. I absolutely agree with you. I think uh, out of 10, which is our usual scoring, um, 8 out of 10. Solid 8, yeah. Absolutely. So moving on to quality. It's beautiful. <laughs> I just have to mention the artwork to start with is amazing. And I'm normally someone that would go for figures. I prefer minis in a game. But the artwork on the standees is so beautiful that I don't miss the minis. I I absolutely love what they've done with these. I agree with you. Um, I would have liked figures, and I think actually, if the Kickstarter that produced this um, had gone on further, I expect that's probably what we would have seen. But there are plenty of miniatures out there that you can actually replace the standees with. But as you say. The artwork on these is fantastic. I really like it. I was originally drawn to this at the UK Games Expo in 2018. We popped in and saw the Wotan Games uh, team. They adjudicated a game between all three of us. So there's Chris, yourself and and I. I have kept my 100% I'm a 100% win on this yes. game now. As you have the trophy mug to prove. Yes. Uh, uh, <laughs> we got the cup for winning, or I got the cup for winning, and then we we play for it uh, within the uh, within the <laughs> team. And I've still kept it. Mm. <clears throat> so, uh, quality. There are a few little niggles for me that, that brought, brings my score down to 7 out of 10. Uh, that's just... The wound tokens, they're just part of the card that's been used. And I, hats off, they used majority of the card in the, in the box, which is great, um, especially when you consider some of the games and the amount of wastage you get in these. I would have liked to have seen wooden cubes, something a little bit different. It works, it's functional doesn't detract from the game and, and I can replace it and put different things in I just think for me there are a few things that could have been done especially as you got the the wooden token yeah. for the actions it would have been nice even if there was a, a wooden token to record points on the blood, on the bowl. blood bowl yeah. but as I say it doesn't detract too much I, I give it a 7 out of 10 yeah I'd, I'd go with an 8 I I like I really like the quality of I mean the cards lovely as well the card stock and yeah the yeah. artwork the cards the feel of the cards the longevity of it um, from the perspective only of how long the game is going to last especially with the standees um, some games we've got where the standees are used when you put the standees in they bend and and the card isn't particularly strong or they start to tear. These, everything has a, sta a, a stand, so you don't have to take them out and put yeah. them back in. No, quality, seven out, of, 7 out of 10. So let's move on to fun factor. 
even though I've lost every game, <laughs> um, I really like it. Did you lose against Bear and Jane? Yes. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, I certainly didn't win. <laughs> um, for me, strategy games and competitive games are not my thing. They're not my natural go-to. But when we do sit and play this, I do really enjoy it. It's not it's not such a heavy strategy game that you're sat there for ages trying to work out your next move. No. It's an easy one to pick up and go, and I, re I do really enjoy it. Yeah, I'd give this a, a 9 out of 10 uh, for fun factor. It's every time I've sat down, I've played it, I've enjoyed it. I've enjoyed watching others play it. Um, I mentioned Bear and Jane. We introduced yeah. two of our friends to, to this. Uh, they, I think they, they quite enjoyed it. Uh, brought out the competitive side of, of uh, the players. Yeah. Uh, you don't, because every character and every um, race has something mm. slightly different. There are some shocks for when you first play it. As I think I made a huge error when we first played this. One of the characters in the Norse uh, group is a werewolf. And you can select a target. He only uses melee attacks. And I selected as my target, without knowing it, a character amongst the Asa that can only be hurt by ranged, ranged attacks. <laughs> So Balder, the uh, the god that he is, yeah. cannot be engaged in melee. And unfortunately, I selected my werewolf to um, have him as a target. Didn't do me didn't do me any good, really. No. Um, so there are some nice little yes. touches like that, and it's great fun to watch other people play it and play it as well. I get as much enjoyment out of playing this as I do Blood Rage. There's, uh, I'm, and I'm only comparing those because they're both Norse themed. Mm -hmm. This goes for a little bit more. It, the the artwork it draws me more. The yes. the gameplay draws me a bit more. It's there is a more competitive edge, but there's also. There's a part to this game that you it's about understanding your skills, the skill set that you've got yeah. and how to overcome your enemy and how to change the environment. This is um, with these tokens, you can change the entire game. You can change the water so you can cross it with a little bit more ease. You can put up mountains to protect, protect yourself. You can also put up a forest which provides extra defence and um, blocks line of sight for range. So there's some nice interesting mm. ways of changing the board yeah. which I if really you, yeah. enjoy. If you've got a character that's a ranged character um, but they're quite weak in defence, if you change their terrain to a forest then they get extra defence but can still fire their arrows from yes. the woodland at the opponent. Yes. Okay, so let's move on to complexity. <clears throat> it's really, it's easy really to easy to pick up. And this rule book is absolutely brilliant. It's well written, it's clear, it's concise, it explains everything. I do wish more rule book rule books were written like this. Yeah. It's the cards tell you exactly what they do. Yeah, ten out of ten yeah. for complexity You've got for me. All, all the movements that you can do, all your mm -hmm. actions are out on the card, which each player gets. It's so simple to pick up. The only complexity is the strategy that you apply to your characters. The rules. It's not so heavy with rules and that it takes you forever to learn how to play the game to then start looking at the strategy. You can pick up the rules in five minutes and then get in there and start playing and learning what each player and each character can do. Yeah, as I say, we introduced friends to this and they picked it up straight away. And after a couple of turns, nobody needed to ask any questions. They knew exactly what was, uh, how things worked or what skills did what. 
and yeah, got on yeah. And, and, and played it. I'd say complexity is a 10 out of 10 because it is that easy to pick up and go. And it's aided by the fact that that rule book, not only is it the, the artwork absolutely brilliant, I really like that artwork, mm-hmm. it's so easy, so well laid out. So yeah. hats off to Wotan Games, they did a really good job. Yeah. Uh, let's look at replayability. So it's a competitive game. Competitive games their replayability value comes in the fact that will you pick it up and play it with somebody else or another group of people and for me yes this is a go-to game if i want a game that's going to take 60 minutes 80 minutes yeah i'll put this on the table we've played it we've taken a little while to do a review of this because we only review games when we've played it five times or more and I wanted to see how this was played as it is a competitive game and we've mainly looked at cooperative games yeah. I wanted to make sure that other players got the opportunity to, opportunity to look at this and provide their ideas and just see what other thoughts were floating about and yeah. all of that information has fed into to my ideas and opinions on, on this review and replayability it's yeah. it's an 8 out of 10 I think yeah. that's a solid score yeah. uh, there are other with, games I yeah. would play and with the number of tiles you get and the variations of a map that you can make yeah. even if you decide to play the same race again and again and again the different terrains that you come up against will change what your players what your characters can do so that changes again if you cha- if you play the same but with a different map and there's also the there epic part of the game so there is another game underlying this which changes it again so all in all absolutely uh, eight out of ten for me yeah yeah i'd, I'd go with a seven um because competitive isn't my thing, so I think you after a while... You tend towards a cooperative. Yeah, but no, I, I do still really do like this game. Overall, I think overall, it, it's an 8 out of 10. It, it's a game that I will put on the table ahead of a lot of other competitive games that we mm-hmm. have. It, it's got the benefit that it will accommodate four players. It would have been nice to see uh, an expansion, uh, Wotan Games, uh, <laughs> perhaps adding another few players and a few other races, yeah, yeah. perhaps <laughs> figures. <laughs> um, it would be nice to have more players so that we could actually set up and play it. Uh, we sometimes have some yeah. strange numbers and six and seven Uh, players it would be nice to actually have that option to add some other players to the 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 game and i think this Mm. this game could accommodate it Uh, it, it's it wouldn't lengthen the game that much and it would add some quite interesting conundrums yeah but i think it's nice that you can change the size of it depending on the size of your table as well because I mean, this is a medium-sized setup, isn't it, with this many tiles? Yes, and we've 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 and got a number of other tiles. So we could stretch, if you have more players, you can stretch it out right across the table. If there's only two of you playing, you could bring it down to just a couple of tiles. It's they're also double-sided, yeah. uh, which is again adds to the longevity and, and yeah. differences that you can come across. Yeah. As I say, we've mentioned before that you can change the table and the, the layout. I was pleasantly surprised. When we sat down to play it, I thought, it's a competitive game. I will see how I get on with it. And the time just flew by, and I I really did enjoy it. Mm -hmm. It is a fantastic game. It really took me by surprise. Good. (laughs) Even though I still haven't won. (laughs) I'm sure you will. Um, it, It is. It's one of those games which, let's just say, the artwork drew me to it, I enjoyed playing it. Not only that, the Wotan Games guys were absolutely brilliant. They they sat down, they talked to us, we had a really good laugh with them. Can't wait to see what else they're, they're going to bring out. I know that yeah. as we speak there is actually another game that they've got on Kickstarter 
which is uh, <laughs> Brexit inspired. <laughs> if anything, back it for a piece of history. That that's what we've done. We've backed it for yeah. a couple of them, just just for a little piece of of memory of of quite a large impactful um, occasion on yeah. on Great Britain. Uh, so yes, I, I quite like that, and they, they they had Camelot as well, which we haven't played. Uh, we we shall have a look at that. Yeah. What's your overall score? Overall, I'm I'm going to go for a seven out of ten. I, yeah. They're, they're good it's, scores. Yeah. So, if you'd like to look at a Norse inspired. <clears throat> competitive game that isn't Blood Rage go to Wotan Games have a look at War of the Nine Realms I think you'll be pleasantly surprised it's a really good game it's short as well as we yeah. say we sat down and played a couple of games recently yeah. and they've been an hour to, to, to 80 minutes uh, that includes some bimbling around and, and <clears throat> not playing just the game, also doing other bits and pieces. So it's it's good fun. Yeah. And as ever, thank you very much for, first of all, viewing this video. Secondly, like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Yeah. We would really appreciate that. Or say welcome to our new subscribers as yeah. well. We've been watching the the count increase, and we really appreciate it. We really appreciate the discussions that have been ongoing on some of the specifically our, our folklore video. Um, on that, have a look at Kickstarter folklore. Um, the affliction. There's an expansion currently on there. It's it's funded. It's going very well. Uh, Greenbrier Games are doing an absolutely excellent job. Have a look at it. Trust us, that's another great <laughs> game. Have a look at our review. Go and have go and check out um, Kickstarter for that. I think it's only got a few days left, seven seven days left or so. I think Brexit for um, Wotan Games has only got a, a few days left as well. That thank you very much. Like and subscribe. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.